Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. It's a Friday, so we will look towards the weekend's Premier League action as we resume after the international fixtures with a couple of key matches. But first, how can we not start with a credible mention of the Malaysian football squad in the ongoing Southeast Asian Games being held in Indonesia? The New Straight Times re- a sports section reports uh, Mission Impossible. Possible. Even our Prime Minister took time off the APEC Summit in Bali to watch our game. President Obama, who is also attending the summit, would have realised how football or soccer mad we are. In last night's final group stage match, Malaysia in the group of death went up against Indonesia at the Golora Bung Karno Stadium. It just wasn't against the 11 on the pitch, but the 90,000 in the stands. Understandably, it's a rivalry steeped in history and it started off with utter disrespect of what the modern game stands for. Jeers and blaring vuvuzela as trumpets from the Indonesian suspect, uh, uh, spectators drowning the Malaysian national anthem. Yep. That was all that's heard during our national anthem. Even the Malaysian commentator Zainal Abedin Rawal called them uncivilized, and I totally agree. Our boys withstood the animosity, mind games, trash talking by the Indonesians before and during the game to beat them 1 0 on their own turf. They now top Group A and are through to the semis. Malaysia will take on Group B runners up Myanmar, while Indonesia play new Southeast Asian giants Vietnam. That semi-final clash with Myanmar will be the curtain raiser for a fantastic weekend of football for us here in Malaysia as the Premier League gets back on track. Let's recap the standings. This is how it looks at the top. With Chelsea taking on Liverpool, things could be interesting for Arsenal and Spurs, depending on the outcome. And it's an interesting weekend for teams in the bottom half as 8 out of the 10 will face each other off. None more so than Wigan who take on Blackburn. So let's look at all of the weekend's fixtures. It kicks off with Arsenal who travel to Norwich. A win for the Gunners can level them with Spurs and Chelsea and looks to be so. Next, it's the other so-called big one. The battle of the undefeated sides and the start of three consecutive arduous weekends for Newcastle. Then we have the bottom half matchups. First, there's 20th versus 19th, Wigan v Blackburn. Bolton in 18th travel to 14th place, West Brom. Everton in 17 host Wolves who are in 13, 15 and 16th face off at the Stadium of Light while the late kickoff sees Manchester United going up against Swansea. Just a sole fixture on Sunday and our fans live episode this weekend will be with the Liverpool fans so don't miss out on that show on our episode on our website on Monday. And rounding up the weekend will be that Monday night clash at White Hart Lane. So that's it for the week. Join me again on Tuesday when we will recap all that happened over the weekend. So till then have a great sporting weekend but for the time being from the team and I, it's bye for now.